almost every day someone reaches out with that same worried tone. Doctor, I just found out I have hepatitis B. Please, who do I trust? The questions come fast. Can herbal remedies cure it? Should I eat more garlic? Is the vaccine dangerous? Is tenofovir safe or just another pharma trick? And once someone even asked me if drinking boiled pawpaw leaves under a full moon could wipe the virus out. I wish I were joking. Honestly, I get it. You're, you're hearing one thing from your doctor, another from your cousin who swears by roots and bark, something else from a YouTube herbalist with dramatic background music, and then TikTok throws in its own spice. You're not crazy to be confused. You're just human and you're looking for hope. So let's talk about who you can really trust when it comes to hepatitis B. First, trust sources backed by scientific evidence. I'm talking about organizations like the World Health Organization, the CDC, and respected medical journals, places where information is reviewed, challenged, and tested by professionals, not typed in all caps on a WhatsApp status. But let's be clear, science isn't a cult. It welcomes questions. You can and should ask, when was the study done? Was it tested on real people or just lab mice named Charlie? Was it a large, well-designed study or just a small experiment with five volunteers and a microscope? Real science is about tested truth, not trend, not tradition, and definitely not superstition. Now that we've agreed evidence matters, let's talk about who delivers that evidence. Trust trained professionals, not just anyone who has doctor in front of their name or runs an herbal healing center with flyers and bus parks. I mean licensed doctors, especially those trained in hepatology, infectious diseases, or internal medicine. These people didn't get their expertise from Google. They got it from years of study, exams, clinical work, and real-world experience. Next, be very cautious of anyone promising a quick cure. There's an old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably comes in a plastic bottle with a fading label. As of today, there is no herbal remedy. Let me repeat, no herbal remedy proven to cure hepatitis B. Some herbs may support liver health, yes, but they don't eliminate the virus or reverse the damage it's caused. If they did, believe me, hospitals would have stocked up long ago. And now, the vaccine. The hepatitis B vaccine is not the villain in anyone's story. It's one of the safest and most effective vaccines in the world. It prevents chronic liver damage, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. The fear that it's unsafe is not based on any real evidence. It's based on noise, fear, and unfounded rumors. If someone tells you otherwise, ask them for the study. You'll be met with silence or a link to a blog with blinking ads. Finally, about tenofovir, entecavir, and other antiviral medications, these are not poisons. They are not a scam. They are life-saving tools. While they may not wipe out the virus completely, they suppress it, protect your liver, and reduce your risk of complications. Stopping them on your own because of something you read online is like removing your seatbelt during a crash because someone on Facebook said it restricts your freedom. So what's the bottom line? You have the right to ask questions. You should seek second opinions, but don't trade facts for feelings or science for superstition. Don't confuse volume with validity. And don't let the loudest voice online become your guide. Let the most informed one be. Because your health isn't a game. Your liver is not an experiment. And your life is too valuable to be risked on trial and error treatments. Trust science. Ask for evidence. Think critically. And above all, protect yourself with real knowledge, not recycled rumors. If this has helped you, please share it. Someone out there is about to take another dangerous herbal mixture, hoping for a miracle. What they really need is the truth.